Hey everyone, so if you remember last time, uh, certain areas of this LED grow light didn't light up. There were certain panels, parts of the panels that didn't light. And we found out it wasn't any of the LED drivers. If it was, it's easily, easily replaceable. Uh, all the parts seem to be off the shelf parts except for this board is custom made, but that's easy enough. So these are definitely, definitely repairable. But what we found was it was nothing except for just simply bad LEDs. They burn out. And it's like I said before, it was like Christmas lights, Christmas tree lights. And if one of the bulbs goes bad, the whole tree goes dark or whatever you happen to have the lights on window or just whatever. So it's the same idea because they're all in series and it's separate power rail. So it wasn't like, you know, one LED would take out the entire thing. There, it would just take out everything on that rail. Now, what I wound up doing was for some reason, I don't remember off camera, I took one of these LEDs off. I don't know why I did it, um, but I did. So I did order some, uh, some LEDs for this. They're not the exact ones, um, but they're they're the same color. And this one looks like it's kind of has like an orange color to it. When you light it up, it actually has like a reddish tint to it. I haven't put full power to it yet. I didn't want to do that without a heat sink attached. These are supposed to be full spectrum, so we'll find out. If they're not and one of the LED is off, I mean, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world, but I'm trying to get it as close to normal as possible. So let's put this one back on and fire up just this rail and just see how it looks. So first things first, let's see the polarity on this. Before I solder it on, I am gonna add a little bit of, just a tiny dab of thermal compound. Let's just fire up that rail and just make sure that works. And we got nothing. So there could be more. So I just went through and it looks like this one is out too. This LED right here, it's not lighting up at all. So it could have been two on that rail. So let's try to get this one off. And this, you'll probably, you're gonna see the problem that I had before. There we go. That's a lot easier than before. And yeah, if we're looking at it, it looks like uh, some really dried up thermal paste. There's some little dab of that on there. And the reason I'm not using uh, any flux on the actual board itself is because I'm going to have to wash this off with some, uh, if I use flux, I'd have to wash it off with, um, ISA and that could get underneath 
need to wash some of the uh, some of the um, compound away, so I don't want to do that. some power at it and see what happens. Oh, it's bright. Let's see, which one did I replace? This one here is one of them. Yeah, and that doesn't, I know you can't see it, but it does not light up white. It, light, it lights up more red. Let's look at this one here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so for some reason it didn't work last time. I guess I didn't have the right connection. This one is one replaced, and that one's that. Okay, I know you can't see it, but almost this entire panel's lit up, and now I'm blind. Sunglasses really would have been a good idea for this. All I see is a bunch of dots in front of my face now. So most of this panel, I'd say 80, 85% of the panel. And if you remember, some of these actually went to this panel. And I only lit up these two rails here. So this whole panel now looks like it's working. These new LEDs light up more, to my eyes, they look more red than they do white. And I will show the owner and explain that to him, or actually I'll talk to him beforehand. And if he's okay with it, we'll just roll with it. If not, I'll see if I can find some better LEDs. Um, I don't do this. I don't work on these. Like I keep saying, I don't work on these things. So I don't have these LEDs on hand. Not like a specialist would. All right, so we got a bad LED here. But we didn't mark it, so why didn't I mark it? That one is lighting up now. And this one is dead. So let's try and pull that one off as well. I don't really like to pry when using soldering iron because the tips just, especially when the heater's in the tip itself, it's not all one piece of metal. So they're kind of fragile in that way, especially these ones. Plug it in, see what happens. Oh god, you would think I'd be smart and actually go get some sunglasses at this point, but I won't. There we go. And the other. That entire thing is lit up. This, there's a dot there that's an infrared. Um, this is the one that we just put in, and it is kind of pinkish. But I also noticed some of these reds are not, they're, they're all over the place. I know you can't see it on camera, but they are definitely all over the place. Uh, some are more orange, some are d deeper red. You know, again, this is used, so, and God only knows you know, the LEDs they put in. That's getting pretty warm, so I'm going to shut this off.
that whole panel's lit. So I just cleaned up any little bit of leftover flux around the solder joints and uh, I even cleaned up a little bit around where it was manufactured when they soldered the wires to the board. Um, I also went through and just chipped off uh, any of the nail polish that I used on it. So it should be good to go. I think I'm going to put this, I went off camera, I went through and just retested all the LEDs to make sure that they all light up and they all do. So I think what I'm going to do, unless I missed one, which is possible, I'm going to go put it back together and uh, we'll fire it up and see what happens. I'm going to do that uh, over on the floor here because it's just a lot easier than doing it up here on the bench. So I'll be right back. So I got them back together and there's Veg. And we got Bloom. Bloom is definitely much more red. Veg has more blue in it. And then you turn them all on. And they're all there. They're all working. So that's all it was. It was uh, three bad LEDs. And I will say, in looking at these, and man, I'm going to turn this off because the, the heat that's coming off this is amazing. One thing I will say is that some of these these LEDs are uh, chain, you know, turning color. You know, the, uh, the white ones are, some of them are turning a little bit darker orange. So I don't know if those would have been replaced or if they're just burning up. They're getting old and they're just burning up. The, the heat that's coming off this just from being turned on for literally a minute or two with all of them is incredible. So uh, obviously these heat sinks are doing their job. They are pulling heat away from the LEDs and they the LEDs are in fact being driven pretty damn hard. Um, I can barely touch them reaching underneath because uh, they're that they're that they're that hot. So I want to get this this back together so that the fans are up right up next to them and uh, it gets proper airflow. I don't want to leave it on for too long. So that's all that was. Uh, if you have one of these, you can basically just go through like I showed with a regular multimeter, probe the LEDs in diode mode, and uh, see which ones light up, which ones don't light up. And uh, if one of them's out, it's going to take out an entire section because they're all in series. But before you do that, uh, very carefully check the LED drivers because before you tear this all apart, it could just be a bad driver and those you could just pick up it really on Amazon. Eh, you could do it on eBay um, or go to specialty shops online that, that sell parts for these. And you also got to be careful if you're going to replace it, make sure you replace the voltage or the, uh, the LED driver with the same type, with the same rating of that you took out of it. Uh, because there's constant current drivers and there's constant voltage drivers. So you got to know what you're looking at, what you have, and what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to uh, replace. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure if you contact some of those shops, they would be more than happy to help you because they want your business. So that's that. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.